So let me ask a question here, and this one should be a fun one. This one should be a fun one. You know, you because like that, hot toys. This is this is a little bit to <laughs> this is a little bit to stir the pot, right? I think this would be fun. So we're gonna see how the chat reacts to this one. This would be good. Do so hot start? toys collectors. What do you say, Carlos? Do I start with this one? If if you want to, hot toys collectors. Let me introduce the topic, and then you can. Because hot toys collectors caring about exclusivity. I kind of feel like we do. I kind of feel like we do. Carlos, we're going to take maybe a little bit of a bold statement here. I don't think it's the main factor, but it's a factor. It's a consideration because sure. I think the perfect the perfect example of this, Carlos, was the stealth suit Captain America. The stealth suit 100%. Captain America was the perfect representation Bro, of what this of community cares about. What would you say, Zach? The amount of complaining. I know. The amount Crazy. of complaints. Right. Right. People and got I get, really upset. It, it could also be as simple as Zach, like, People wanted it and couldn't get it. I understand that too. It could be as simple yeah. as that, but I think there's something more to it. I think there's a lot of people that wanted it, um, that did get it or didn't get it, but I think there's a lot of people it. who didn't want it who got it. Yeah, yeah so, exactly. right. and I've seen a lot and, of sales right. posts. People are like, I'm, I'm right. thinking about selling this for $500. I'm like, of course right. you are, right? You're not selling it for retail. Of you course, right. No. And it was right. the same way. And actually, another. now that you mentioned that, Zach, I would had a light bulb moment. Let's also remember the Avengers Campus Spider-Man because... Same thing happened yeah. before it went up for pre-order without the churro. Same thing. Everyone suddenly wanted that Spider-Man because it was so churro. hard to get. The D23. The uh, best Spider-Man Spider -Man ever made. Right. So that's pretty much what happened. And and I know there were some complaints when, you know, NR Joker went back up for pre-order. I know there was the argument that people were rushed to pre-order. And I, I understand that. But I think there was also the sentiment that I think like, oh, I thought this would be more exclusive than it ended up being. I think that I think that was something too that that was a consideration so carlos i do want to start with you while i don't believe exclusivity is the only factor or the main driving factor for many collectors i think it is a big concern what do you think 100 percent. it's okay as a collector <laughs> you know collecting the love of collecting is number one okay getting the peas enjoying the peas that should always be the most important thing if you're in this collect in this hobby to try to turn a profit and make money, you're probably not going to do it. I sell a lot of stuff. I just like to turn things around a lot. I get bored really quickly. But I'm not really in it to make money, right? And none of yeah. us really are either. So close second, I've always said exclusivity was very important to the community. And a bunch of people always told me that it wasn't. Exclusivity is not important. It's not important. And, you know, it's something, you know, people really didn't care about. And clearly... And I said that I think a couple of weeks that sideshow decided to call everyone's bluff because you look at Arena Boba Fett, people jumped all over that figure, right? When we did the giveaway, we had a shit ton of people. Uh, I'm sorry, we had a ton of people come out and and, and you know join the streams. We had the uh, Churro Spider Man. It's going for like six seven hundred dollars on eBay, and people were buying it left and right. The the stout suit uh, Captain America. Now the Arena difference Fett is that for a while. Arena Fat rights. So because of that, it's it's very important, um, you know, especially if it's a figure that you really want. Let's say they come out and they're like, hey, we're going to have a rooted version Loki. We're only making 300 of them, right? You're going to be all up in that bitch and you're going to try to get it, right? And they're like, we're going to do a 2.0 Jen Ursa and we're only doing 400 of them. You know, Leia was going to be refreshing that page, you know, 30 <laughs> minutes before. You know what I mean? He would. Because he it's would. supposed to be it's something unique. No, I'm not. You no, know, I'm not. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? No, I'm so not. Ex exclusivity my matters. I'll put my business out on the street, Carlos. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> exclusivity matters, I think, if it's a figure we care about. You know, and, yeah. and, and, even, and at least it makes you, it makes those people that were, you know, so so about the figure wanting to get it. That Mark 46 is the perfect example. Everybody was like, oh my God, the Mark 46, I want it. It's iconic. It looks so great. It's fucking, you know, it, it's just amazing. Well, motherfuckers, you guys can buy it right now if you guys aren't, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, but I guarantee if they would have been like, we're only getting 500 Mark 46, this thing would have sold out. Oh, yeah. So, 100%. You know what I mean? And that, that Captain America would be sitting there if it wasn't exclusive. You know what I mean? So, and honestly, even this, um, white uh gandalf the the white if if, if asmus wouldn't came on but like we're only making 500 like look at soso and uh and rogue she sold out right leo yeah she sold out rogue? quick yeah i wasn't worried great. about that because i'm um oxfather made sure i got mine yeah but see look at yeah. that another example <laughs> it's, it's I think a figure people too. want yeah it's a people figure want it's limited and yeah yeah 
But people Definitely. probably only some people probably got it just to flip the bitch. You know what I mean? Not, yeah, not I'm sure. the I'm figure sure. when like the figure itself, right? So so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Same thing with Invincible. People are just getting it just to flip the little fucker at the end of the day. You know, they never <laughs> even want the figure. Right. And, and that's kind of what it feels like. Um so this exclusivity matter a hundred percent. It comes very close second. I think if you're telling yourself that it doesn't, I think uh, it only matters because you know it's like the Joker, right? Within our, um, it matters to everyone. We just don't want to accept that um, it doesn't. But I think it does to an extent for everyone. Yeah, so. it's not the driving force, but it is a factor. Yeah, it's not. It's not nothing. Yeah, yeah, hundred so, percent. But uh, Leo, I want to let you jump in on this one, man. About exclusivity. Yeah. I know with you, you buy out of passion, you get what you love. But yeah. does yeah. that ever factor in? I mean, seeing like a you know the exclusivity or something limited, does that factor into your decision at all? Having something special. No. Nah, because like I said, man, I, it doesn't matter because um, I know mm. Oxfather got me, so I don't really have to worry <laughs> that's about true, that's true. You know what I mean? He's like got anything, I, he got connections, so he got me all day. You know what I mean? You notice I was, you know, why I was talking, I've been like tapping my mic to kind of check my levels. Oh, yeah, he checks levels. Yeah, I mean, because I was <laughs> just fucking, but um, yeah, levels I got here some advice for you, I would say, <laughs> <laughs> but Maybe. no, no, um, it, it, here's the thing. Um, exclusivity is basically going to be an issue for a lot of people. It's it's mm -hmm. it's on both sides. It is for a lot of people because again, they want to know that they have a piece that's you know again, uh, you know, authentically you know for them you know it's exclusive, exclusive. Not too many pieces uh, in, out there right there. Nigga Latoya T, my baby. Hey, oh, I have Latoya. to say shout out to my baby because she's getting me that um Mark One. Uh, uh, oh, um, is she nice? She's getting me the Mark that's One. Uh, 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 Have machine. Not nah, a woman. Oh, machine. dude. The, the, the one, nah, not the half scale. She's getting me the 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 one six version from you know. So nice. I'm happy. Thank you. Is for it for Christmas baby. or something? It's for Christmas. It's my oh, Christmas. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, it's nice. definitely it's my weird, Christmas dude. business. And she awesome, told me man. she's not getting me nothing else, and I said, all right, cool. Don't worry, but I got you a whole bunch of stuff, so you might change that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> nah. Thank you, thank you for being here, baby. But um, no, I, it is. It's important for for some people because that's where they are, bro. Like, I mean, a lot of people, you know, base their whole collection off the of exclusivity. A lot of people do. Yeah. So to say that it's not that is non-existing no i think it is you know our carlos is absolutely right you know people will go after certain figures like man that when that shit um hit the fan um you know for 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 the the uh again this stealth suit motherfuckers was going nuts over that thing man like they were yeah. going crazy like literally i saw stuff to me i didn't want it because again it's not something that i needed you know what i mean I didn't have it the first time when it dropped. I didn't need it the second time around. You know what I mean? It's not something that I wanted in my collection, but people were going nuts for this piece. Um, but again, thinking that it's it's exclusivity when they say 300 pieces, but come on, man. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, there's some people out there who want it. The arena suit, I knew I wanted this shit because, again, it looked incredible. So I couldn't have waited to get that piece in my, in my collection. I'm so glad I did acquire this. Um, but yeah, um, it, it, it's again it, it is um you know it, it is one of the things where a lot of people i just don't want people to sell themselves short bro like yeah, you know right. what i mean like i don't want you to i mean because you know then because of that the level or, or figure that you think is exclusive they don't pay these outlandish prices for it bro like literally mm -hmm. like they'll go out there and buy these pieces and it's like yo you don't have to do that for me like if they look bro honestly if they put General So up tomorrow, if they reissue that figure, I'm happy for everybody that's getting it. And if I notice an update, I'm going to damn well get this <laughs> figure as well. Right. But I'm happy that everybody gets a chance to get these figures that they don't have a chance to get. Again, like we said off the top, like if you're actually doing this to, to uh, you know, for residual gain, you're in the wrong place. If you're doing this to buy and sell, like straight, especially right now, like literally, I, I mean, again, it's for me, it's for the art. I do it because I love the art. I love creating art. But a lot of people do it for you. So there's no right or wrong way, to be quite honest. I don't want to shit on other people's parade, parade that are doing it for exclusivity. Um, but I just think that, I mean, it's, there's a space for it. But just don't sell yourself short. Don't, 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 don't do that. Like, literally. Not everybody actually has an ox father in their corner that can buy their figures for them. I do. But you don't. You know what I mean? So don't different. sell yourself short. It's just a bit different. You know what I mean? Not everybody can get, like, an exclusive sign, you know, Carlos Hesco. I can. You can't, you know what I mean? So this, 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 you know what I mean? Just chill out. But nah, nah, honestly, in all honesty, like I, I think, you know, for this, you know, a lot of people do, you know, it is personal for a lot of people and I, and I can understand that, bro. I can honestly understand that. Uh, but for me, you know, it is what it is. Yeah.
And so, Ox Father, Ox Daddy, I want to ask you the same question here because, you know, I'm seeing some of the comments and I think people are, you know, on board for the most part. Because, like, it, it is nice to have that Dark Side Anakin in your collection, right? Because you have that Yondu or you have that Hela where you're you like, just, this you is, just like, had to say that shit. <laughs> Leo, I, that wasn't let me, for you. Let me tell you this. Leo, yeah, I don't yeah, have Dark Side Anakin either, man. I don't have Dark Side Anakin. But you I just had bought it, one, did I, tell I had you? it. You had you it, you one? sold it. Yeah, I just yeah, bought I one. I did sell it. <laughs> yeah, I sold it. Okay. I just bought so, one. So, Dark Side Anakin wasn't that exclusive. There no, was but I'm saying he's exclusive that, now. Like, no, because, now, right, but there right. was a point where you couldn't give that figure away for No, they had bucks. it on, dude, I, they had yeah, it in stock for, for years. Yeah. Now, I think Hot Toys collectors, uh, can you pull up the question just so I don't misquote it here? Yeah, sure. I think, I think they do care about exclusivity. Absolutely. However, and I've said this on Carlos's group, Hot Toys collectors are not ready for truly exclusive collectible. Hundred percent. I <laughs> guarantee you, if mm -hmm. every single release, yep. Which, if you're a sneaker collector, if you're a Funko Hell Pop collector, yeah. in some ways, if you're a Mezco collector, went as bad as the stealth suit, um, Captain America went. A lot of people would would be screaming for no more exclusivity. Yeah. We are not ready for it. You're used to having months and months and years to make up your mind on a figure. Uh, in reality, a truly exclusive, like the 300 quantity of that cap, hey, we're dropping it today. You either have the money or you don't. No coupons, no rewards. And if you don't, or if you're not lucky enough to be able to get in that queue and check out, you're just not going to get it and you're going to pay $200 more. We might all sit here and say that we want exclusivity but we really don't i don't think so um when i buy a figure uh i personally i've said this a lot on my show i i would like it to be the best version of that mm. character for at least a year yeah. right mm. i don't want to buy a mando and get it and two months later they're announcing the next mando right i don't want to get a, a figure a jedi luke and i get it and a month later they're announcing the Andor luke right so that's how i feel personally uh, I don't collect for value, but I, I don't think that collectors are truly ready for like that level of exclusivity and collectability. I, mm -hmm. I don't think we're ready for it. True. Yeah. That's reasonable because if anyone's tried to buy a PS5, you know how that goes. So I, uh, it's a little bit easier now. They, it's a little bit more accessible, but still difficult. Still difficult. But it was a lot harder six months to a year ago when I had to pay 800 on eBay for one because I you could not. You paid 800 for yours? Mm -hmm. yeah because this was yeah. when was this carlos like a year ago like a, a probably a year ago know. right and uh it was it was um <laughs> yeah it was it was a while ago but uh, yeah man because i got up i think i tried for six months on every drop i failed every single time i did everything they said to do put your credit card info in do use apple pay whatever right always never got it so Hello. well i love how you just keep giving carlos ammunition bro, bro I, he, just, I love he it anyway. he's fine <laughs> he's a hater he's it's a funny hater. as fuck